the, once they're in the water, that's when it really gets a bit bad, to be honest, because anything yeah, will take them that's bigger than them. Like, yeah. uh, bigger turtles, you know, for instance. Really? Like, literally anything. Yeah. But it's kind of a numbers game, basically, because the turtles evolve from tortoises, so they're still kind of slight for land for their reproduction. And so, because they can't actually care for their young at all, they just have a lot of them. It's just a numbers game. But as many as you can out there, and yeah, some will grow up. Yeah. Uh, like, how long have you been on this project? Um, I've been out since early June, we've been out for the last two years as well. I'm going to cover them back up in a day. What's the season's like, for it? So, okay, yeah. so yeah. Um, middle of May, we get the first nest to start. At the moment, we've got the transition between still a few nests yeah, and starting to hatch, and we'll be here till about mid October just okay. to deal with the last of the The project runs about five, six months a year, basically. Yeah, that one. So yeah, just to give you an idea of numbers, like this female is the first year breeding, like we haven't seen her before, we tagged them all. And she's laid three clutches, each of them could easily have eight or something. Wow. And that's her first year breeding. Once they've been breeding for a few years, they can get up to three clutches each time. So they're kind of four or five hundred eggs each time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we always like doing the green excavations because they're a lot of <laughs> The loggerheads are always quite simple because it's kind of like they're only about that level of surface. But the green is always really This looks like it's quite a successful look, you know? yeah. 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 Thank you. 